Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Zephyrus showing off why Quillbore are one of the most consistent tribes in the mid game. You might be saying, Bofer, you're full of shit. Quillbore aren't that good, but when you hit mid game Quillbore scaling and you can just level to the moon, the freedom to be able to use all of your gold every turn to just look for the core utility cards like Selfless Baron or Manted Selfless or whatever it might be is incredibly strong in the stat based meta. And when you have passive scaling, you do so and you don't take too much damage in the process. It may be niche, you may need to high roll pretty hard in the mid game to get a hold of enough scaling to enable leveling up. But when you can do that, the game just kind of plays itself. You roll the board and you just say, Bob, take me where you will. If you get the pieces, you win. If not, you take a top three and you go next. All right, enjoy. Trigger five random death rattles is super easy with what we have on the board. We can even buy this and get it in two turns. And then we get the quill bore. Buy minions will never happen. Lose two combats is doable for victim specter, which is pretty cool. But I think we'd rather have the gold the whole game than the one random minion. Because we're going to get it on the same turn. They're both very doable. Two combats is nothing. On average. I mean, the reason you say on average a bunch when you're doing this analysis is because people will take very specific results and try to calculate off of that instead of looking at the overall average behavior. I don't know, he had some lucky coiler spawns. Yeah, okay, he got lucky. He got lucky. Doesn't mean we should play for a worse average placement just because he happened to get lucky. Sometimes lucky. That is the game we play. Yo, bro, what the fuck? Why is my RNG set to zero? I mean, at least we still get this. We can triple in the four this turn and triple in the five after. I think I'd rather just triple into five next turn. I don't even have to push the button. <laughs> Twitch doesn't get lucky very often. We all get lucky about the same time in this video game. Real life excluded. <laughs> the old joke for us was Sleepy because Sleepy used to keep lethaling us on, on 10 percenters. But then it became Jeef. Jeef killing us on... 20 10 percenters then to be fair we did turn around and do the same thing to him like three times in a row in the same day so like once again it all evens out those are some pretty pretty decent hits i have to stay all up, stay up all night to get lucky i see up all night to get lucky hmm So we take the five, we break a pair to keep the spawn. Because I'm definitely keeping the brute. I don't really want to use the extra hero power on this. So I'm going to take you first. We're keeping the brutes. They passively triple. We get a Bran. Also get a Baron. And Bran's going to be pretty tough to play in this game. Considering that we're probably going toward Quillbore. Just play the Baron, or the Baron. It's a big boy. We have the spawn on the board still. It's 
It's going to be 7 attack already on turn 6. This is 6 attack. Ninety percent of my comments are just lyrics. Oh, I recognize it. Or at least that one. But I probably miss a bunch of them. Up all night to get lucky. You don't want a little little Bruno Mars. Somebody in chat's gonna kill me. <laughs> we need to attribute songs to all the people. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh my god. Spent all day yesterday thinking it was Friday and preparing myself for it being Saturday. I love Usher. Usher, Usher. All right. We taking our six. Wouldn't it be nice to have blood gems? It's just great. Where are my blood gems, bub? Orgazoa, Manted, or Genie? I mean, we're printing a lot of gold and we have Baron on the board. Plus, Tess doesn't really want it. That's a big upside. <laughs> get fucked, Tess. I like the get fucked Tess part of the equation. We have Baron and Genie. Two random Quillbore. Two hero powers left. We can get into APM Ellie's pretty quickly. Recycling Wraith is good, or we go to six. If we're going to six, we don't care about the Recycling Wraith. Would you stop it with your tempo? Boo. Nah, at least we get the double bonk. We get our blood gem finally to be able to scale the brute. Only took like 40 turns, but we finally got a blood gem for a brute. All right, well, it's a lot of gold. I do really like this duo. Kind of like the hero power this turn, though. So maybe we roll first. Maybe not. It's a lot of Murlocs. We could transition. This is a triple. Get out of here. All right. Well, I like you. I like you. Probably like you for the turn. Boo. 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 Sure. Okay, we put a fair chunk of stats on the board. We're getting random Quillbore. You're big, you're big. This thing double procs with Baron. If we can get it to die, after all. Blood Gym's good. Put all of them on the Brute, because we're going to probably move them in the long term anyway. Brute and Elder are going to be permanent. Nice, we got the extra procs, too. <clears throat> nice, 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 nice. We'll take it. So we get our end of turn. Actually found like the, the triple into the elder. If we level up the, to six there, we definitely lose the round, but we could potentially random into our good shit. Smoking gun board, not what we want to see. I don't love taking this, but it's probably worth it.
could make a small argument for like making a few other minions bigger. With blood gems, like we keep this, we keep this permanently. Like these three things are probably permanent, so it's not really any harm to concentrate gems on a second quill bore. Because then you can just necrolite between the two of them. I don't want to spread blood gems around between like three different ones. Because eventually we're going to get out of necrolite or get necrolite to put the gems on like a, a bristleback knight or a, a cleave or something. That is our goal. But yeah, we have a lot of stats for turn nine. This is a smoking gun board, so like not great having big stats against smoking gun. You going to TwitchCon? I am not going to TwitchCon. I have been feeling pretty under the weather recently. Feels kind of like a dick move to go get people sick. Not to mention I would have had to sign up a long time ago. <laughs> I chose not to. What cleave minions are there in the lobby? Elemental. Really, we're saying just a premium minion. Whatever it might be. Nah, man. Sure. Oh. Oh. That's a lot of stats. Do we get out of the thorn collar or do we get out of the spawn? Probably the thorn collar, right? Because we don't want to pull stats into that. I'm going to pick up the selfless hero. We need it in the long run. Looks like a yep. Only question is, do I burn gold this turn? Do I play selfless this turn against the Murloc? I think we roll a board. If we get anything worth considering, maybe the Murloc. Then we get out of these guys and we play the selfless hero. In the long term, we may need a poison. It also gets us an extra proc, which is cool. Probably should put this first, actually. No poison! It's so much easier to beat Murloc boards when they have no poisons. Ah, terrifying. But we can't kill her. <laughs> I'll be dropping the one. Hey, what's up, Crow? This is a premium minion. We definitely picked this up. We're thinking long term here. We're thinking Necrolite to pull stats on the Bristleback Knight. We're thinking maybe like Amalgam or anything else to get the poison. But right now, we want to keep the stats on the board. And we're thinking Golden Selfless Arrow. Maybe Baron's a pickup because of Selfless Era. But the moment we have a ton of stats, we're going to win or lose these rounds based upon what their board composition is. Because stats-wise, we're certainly not lacking. Brand plus quest is double end of turn effects and Murkai. Literally just needs to hit a Toxfin and her whole board is poison. This is still like a winning game with one Toxman. Like you think about how good that board is if every one of those minions is poisoned against our board because these things can't trade shit. We have like three minions that can kill something. All right, coin flip right. Coin flip wrong. At least that one was good. On the other hand, shield going on a worthless minion is, we'll call it suboptimal. 
right down the middle. Ah, oh, poor Bran. He had a very, very good line there. I'd be frustrated if I died without Toxfed. You're looking for one card. I mean, Agamagan is a ton of stats, and we should outstat this person. We probably should pick up pairs. Yeah, we have nine minions in hand. Yes, I see it. Ghoul. Not against this guy. Not against any of them, really. Yo, where's the Necrolite? Sell boar to replace? Yeah, we could think about that. We could also think about selling Charlie. I don't think it's ever sell Charlie. We need to get some hand space again. I don't love Amalgam. Got three and two here. So I'm going to put this down. Or I'm going to cycle you and then pick this up. It's going to burn... Two, two stats, the four minions. If we think we're stronger than this person, we shouldn't even use the glow scale. Just hold it for next turn. Which means we just burn two gold. It's not like it's burning gold. We're rolling to find cards that we're looking for. Know, it's just like... Keep doing that. We need Necrolite? We need Golden Baron. And we can pick up a Murloc if we do get the Necrolite. Because then we can get out of multiple cards. Because unless we do that, we're better off just having Selfless Hero. We're better off just cycling through here. You could argue Charlie is not that high value right now, and I'd agree. Boo. Boo adjacent. Still dead, but boo. But if you play any other games on or off stream, currently trying to log in the World of Warcraft. <laughs> I just kind of casually dabble with WoW Classic. I was going to play with my brother this evening. But logging into Feralina is a pain. Mergles. Looks like we're committing this turn. Why is it always the cards that we don't actually want to play on the board and not the triples on this or Necrolite or this or whatever? Okay, well. Yep, it's fine. It's whatever. It's just, it's fine. It's not Necrolite. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen this game. We're just going to be sad collectively together. It's just not going to happen. We're just going to have some random divine shields. We'll take one for next turn. You play around Leroy a little bit this way. Maybe try to, like, lead here. Oh, shit, you play on Feralina also? I mean, I don't really play, to be honest. Like, I'm a... I'm a looky-loo. I kind of just enjoy the fact that there is a WoW Classic because, you know, played it back in the day, but putting in 10 hours a week isn't going to level very quickly. But I'll enjoy the leveling process. I'll enjoy playing the game for what it is in front of me. I like our order. Our order feels pretty good. Oh, oh, selfless hero. If you could just target a little better. Still really good. Still very, very good. If only you could hit your, what you were aiming for. Really good hits though. I've been on since like seven in the morning. Yeah, I mean, at this point I'm, I'm logged in, but I don't stop for a couple hours. Yo, what's under the glow scale? What's going on down here, cards? You made the space like there's a, mid a card here, and then you doubled them over over here. 
All right. Is that a final card ever Leroy? Is that her taunt? No. It's golden utility cards. Come on. You know this, Bofer. There we go. There we go. There we go. I'd really like to keep this extra... Alright, how trivial is this opponent? <laughs> Can we play without gold and selfless hero to keep the extra one shield for next turn? Yes. I like the bold... The bold assertion. Of course, Bofer. Don't be a wimp. You can do it. Wish I had one more gold. So many Charlies this game, and no Dark Gazes. Sag, man. Sag. We want to keep the Glow Scale on the board, which means we don't sell anything else through before using the Necrolite on the Bristleback Knight, so that we can have the one extra shield from the, the spell fa the whatever it's called, spellcraft effect. Oh, sure. Liability minion on the board for the Bristleback Knight. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we put it there? What do weakly interacting massive particles have to do with that? You lost me. You lost me, chat. I'm floored. There's a duo. He seems a little baity now. Oh, the Quillbore one. Hey, look, another duo. The beauty of this comp is that you can roll so many times. We could taunt Selfless Era. There we go. Actually, can roll one time too. Actually, I can't. I have to sell something. <laughs> Never mind. The triple does allow that. The pull can take you and you. Might just take you and you and leave another big minion. I think that's how we're going to do it. Then we can look for Mansid or something. Dark Gaze isn't bad, but you know. Really looking for Manted. We're really looking for Manted. We're not hitting Manted. I was too slow to put the shield on the board. <laughs> too, just too slow for the shield. Ah, Bofer. It's not being dumb, bro. Not like the shield's really that valuable, considering that we hit the Golden Baron and Golden everything, but, you know. Better having it than not having it. Could Wind Fury the duo and try to lead with it? That's debatable. Give the Divine Shield to it, Wind Fury with the duo, and then try to put Selfless second. But Selfless Shield's the whole board. Considering we have no indication that he's going to try to play toward Ghoul. I really just wanted a Mantid in the final spot. That was kind of my priority there. Max damage. Yeah, the beauty of, of Quillbore, it's very much like Felbat is that once you get it rolling, you really don't have to spend gold on the board. So you just roll the board for cards that affect you. Like we took a Toxfen to make this in the middle of the game. We could have taken a Mantid if we'd seen it on any of those boards. And then we just picked up Selfless and Baron wherever we saw it, moved the stats at the end to make a couple big minions and like your board's super strong.